Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1135. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, here we have a great example. We have numbers in two separate columns, and these columns are not next to each other, non-contiguous ranges. And we need to rank this score right here and then this score, each individual score, but in comparison to the numbers in both columns. Now our example is going to come from the sport of boomeranging. We're going to look at the event maximum time allowed. That means you throw your boomerang in the air, and the one in the air the longest wins. And we need to rank all of these. Now we're going to use the rank function equals R-A-N-K. And lo and behold, in our drop down here, there's three different functions. Now in 2010, Microsoft improved many of the statistical functions and added this dot convention, dot average. That means if there's a tie, it will average them. Dot equivalent, that means if there's a tie for a particular place or ranking, each one of the ties will get the same ranking. Now this one down at the bottom is called compatibility, that little yellow triangle. That function works exactly like the dot EQ. Microsoft wants you to use the new ones, but this one's there just in case you have old spreadsheets that use the rank. Now, other examples of statistical functions they added in 2010 that use this dot convention are like the normal distribution function, percentile functions. The idea is they improve many of the old statistical functions. Now, the average is the one we're going to use for this example. So I'm going to hit Tab. And the way this function works is it wants the number. Boom, I'm going to click that number there comma, and reference. Normally, we highlight any range we want, and boom, it goes into reference. But we have two ranges. So check this out. You put open parentheses, highlight the first range. We're going to have to lock this, so I'm going to hit the F4, comma, and then you highlight the second range. F4 and close parentheses. A bunch of statistical functions, if you see reference, will handle this multiple ranges using open parentheses, comma, 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 whatever number of ranges you want, and close parentheses. All right, we come to the end in order. Descending or 0 means biggest gets first. 1 or ascending means smallest gets first. So since this is maximum time aloft, we want 0. Close parentheses. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Control C. Click over here, Control V. And instantly, we have our rankings. Notice Tim got first the longest time, 76 seconds, 0.48. That's a long MTA throw. Uh, there was a tie. So Phil and Kip had 31.82, so they tied. Instead of getting a 14 and a 15 like the EQ will do, we get the average of the two, 14 plus 15 divided by 2. Notice if we look through this list, there is no 15. The next one is 16. All right, now let's see this next example. And we'll do it a little bit differently and see if we can figure out some other tricks in addition to seeing the EQ. Now, instead of doing the formula here, copying down and over, I'm going to highlight the entire range. And now I'm going to hold the Control key and select the second range. Now we have an active cell. Whatever formula we put in that cell in Edit Mode, when we use Control Enter, it will populate all of the highlighted cells. All right, so you ready? Equals rank. And now we're going to do the EQ, because we want 14th place to get both people to get 14. So EQ, we're going to start with our number. Now, check this out. These are non-contiguous ranges. That is a relative cell reference, 2 to my left. When I Control Enter and populate all this, the formula right there will automatically look 2 to my left, comma. Now we have reference, open parentheses, F4, comma, F4 to lock it, close parentheses, comma, and we still want the biggest one to get first, close parentheses. Now, when I Control Enter, it'll populate all the way through. You ready? Control Enter. And just like that, if we come over in Edit Mode, F2, those 
locked ranges are locked, but that relative one is looking one, two cells to my left. And notice that Kip and Phil now get 14. Again, there's no 15. It goes straight to 16. Now this one over here, not to bore you with a repeat, but just to show you that rank and rank equivalent are the same, we completed this formula with our compatibility function. Now we use Control-Enter to populate it all the way through. And sure enough, there's our relative cell reference. There's our locked references. And Kip and Phil get 14. In the old days, all we had was rank. And so we had to have pretty fancy formulas if we wanted to average the scores. By the way, for the boomerang events, you want to average them. So this one up here would be the correct one for scoring. It depends on the system and the, the way you want to rank, of course. And there's other ways besides these two ways to rank also. All right, now one last event, boomerang fast catch. That's where you throw five times as fast as you can, and the boomerang has to go 20 meters. It looks like there are some great scores here, but let's go ahead, brrrup, highlight our range equals rank dot average. That's how boomerang scoring works. Now this time we'll use all keyboards to get our cell references. So the number is left arrow, left arrow, comma, open parentheses. Our first range is left arrow, left arrow, control shift, down arrow, F4, comma, left arrow, left arrow, a bunch, control shift, down arrow, F4, close parentheses comma, and this one is fast catch. So the smallest time is going to win, so we're using 1. Close parentheses, Control Enter to populate all the way through. And wow, Alice had an awesome fast catch time. That means Alice threw five times. That boomerang went out 20 meters in 18.3 seconds. Looking like Barbara got second. Wow, there's some amazing scores. Anything under 20, if there's a little bit of wind, is pretty darn amazing. And here's our tie. Lim, Phil, and Sue all tied with 25.4 for seventh. So it goes 7, 8, 9. The next one better be 10. And there it is. There's no 8 or 9 ranking anywhere in our list. All right, that was a lot of fun with ranking. We saw the three different ranking functions, and we also saw how to use the reference argument to reference columns that are not next to each other. All right, we'll see you next trick.